Middlesex University is a large public university based on North London, UK. They cater over 40,000 students worldwide. They have a, a bunch of locations where they're located, especially in Dubai, uh, Malta, and Mauritius. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Mr. Ian O'Donnell. Um, he is the Deputy Academic Registrar Student Administration for Middlesex. Uh, thank you, sir, for being here. Uh, so, Ian, let me get into it. Uh, so, when did uh, you, Middlesex start working with QSight? Okay, so Middlesex uh, sort of began working with QSight in 2009, and I was involved in the sort of early stages of working with the company to look to develop ways in which they could assist us with um, various activities that we offer. Mm -hmm. um, so, I was involved in a number of projects, and most recently, um, I've taken a responsibility for the applications processing team. Mm -hmm and we have been expanding our uh, operations for uh, admissions application processing okay. over the last six months. That, that's great, that's great. So, um, any particular benefits that you've got on uh, QSign? Or, um, um, you know, any case study that you can highlight? Well, so for the admissions, um, for the admissions applications processing team, um, you know, what we, we worked with them for a number of years, and initially that was a project around getting pay details of paper application forms into our student record system. And we've expanded that over a number of years so that um, so we're now increasing the level of knowledge of the team and getting them to work with us on actually making assessments on uh, a specific number of um, applications to courses in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been expanding what they do and part of the reason we're here this time is to uh, is to help support them in mm -hmm. understanding the new procedures mm -hmm. and um, taking on some additional work for us. Wow, that's, that's great. So any, any particular expertise that QSign brings to Middlesex? I mean, you must have done a lot of times. I mean, anything particular with QSign? So I think for us it's, it's quite a unique way of working for institutions in the UK. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are any of us, certainly when we started, mm -hmm. uh, where institutions were looking to outsource this type of work. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, it's been a, a learning experience, I think, on both sides, mm -hmm. to, to work in the UK market in this way. Um, and you know, we've worked quite closely with, in terms of developing the procedures that we use, the mm -hmm. business processes that we operate. Um, but in particular, we've been working with QSign on trying to increase the quality of what we do um, without increasing necessarily the overall resource. So we're working with the same resource footprint, yeah. um, but we can do it with higher volume mm -hmm. and faster turnaround with applications. Okay. And if, if you were to sum up your overall experience with QSEN, uh, how would you do that? Um, well, I would say that um, it's been, it has been a very interesting experience. We work quite closely. I feel like we work in a, in a way that's a partnership, um, and there's, there's quite a lot of uh, discussion and negotiation and contact on both sides. It's very positive. The um, the staff that you have here and the team um, are working. They're very de very dedicated, very competent, yeah. very, very keen to um, to learn and to get things right, which is really important for us. Awesome. That's great. Um, hope we'll provide much more value to you. Uh, thanks for being here. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Middlesex University is one of the largest university in the UK. It's placed in North London, UK and it caters academic and career focused courses to more than 40,000 students global. And it has campuses in London, Dubai, Malta and Mauritius. Middlesex University has been engaged with QSign and we have done many successful projects for them, starting from centralizing their application processing and we have set up support desks for the inquirers, the applicants, the students and also set up desks for the support staff and facilities. And the Middlesex University also uses our flagship product pro retention and it helps them to service their staff and student requests. Today I have with me uh, Mr. Peter Derrick and he is with the admissions, he's the head of admissions and also PISA compliance and he's with us to answer a few questions. So uh, can you give us in detail about your trip to QSign, the, the purpose of the trip? Yep, so we've uh, come over for this trip to work with the application processing team, the team that do all of our data entry and help us with our admissions process. And we've been here to deliver some additional training with some new tasks and review all of the processes that they're currently undertaking and make sure that we're working as efficiently as possible together as both you know, staff based in the UK and here at QSIGNED. Wonderful. So we see that now we have moved a level ahead. 
initially you're doing application processing and now you're taking us to the level of making decisions. Can you give us more vision on that and how is it going to benefit Middlesex University? Yep, certainly. So we initially started out with just the, the actual processing of applications, the adding of data to the system. Uh, but now we're moving forward and we've trained the team um, using a lot of uh, guidance that we've worked up in the UK in terms of how to assess the person's application, how to look at their qualifications, how to make a decision on whether that person is, should be getting an offer or not. And uh, so we've been working with the team here to train them on all of that and to apply the same criteria that we do in the UK, but to applications here. So uh, we've worked with them all week and uh, so far it's going quite well. So I believe that you're happy with the progress, but did you have any specific objectives that you wanted to acquire or that you wanted to accomplish during this visit in this transition? Yeah, I mean, I think we've come for this trip just to deliver that extra detail face-to-face because -face, it's always easier to come and train the team working with them you know, face-to-face -face rather than over the video conference or, or, or via email and things. Also, we wanted to kind of be here on the ground as well to resolve issues as they come up, use them as learning opportunities for the rest of the team talk to them about how, you know, what are the exceptions that need to go to the UK and what, what can have an offer, what can't have an offer. So it's been, you know, useful in that sense. So you've been literally here more than a week now, so how has been your overall experience? I'm sure this is your second visit, but are you happy with all the progress made? Yeah, I mean, so far so good. We're um, working quite hard with the team. It's obviously, it's very new work that they're taking on, um, and we've got more work yet to do. But the team have been very engaged with us and have, you know, taken a lot of notes, paid a lot of attention in the training, so that's very good. Now it's just a case of putting it into practice and, and getting going with the process. So more work still to do, but we're we're getting there I think. I'm sure we will. <laughs> thank you for your time today. No worries, thank you. Thank you.